In 1892, a great deal of attention, both national and local, was focused on the South when the boll weevil arrived in the United States from Mexico. This insect pest started to attack the cotton fields of Texas, wiping out crops and threatening the economy of the state. In 1902, Dr. Seaman Knapp was hired by the federal government to demonstrate ways to combat the boll weevil, first in Texas and then in other states. Dr. Knapp built a network of state and county agents all across the rural USA. The men and women of the farm demonstration work programs found that farmers and their families were eager to improve their farms and their lives by making the most of what they had and by applying science to the soil. Cassius Rex Hudson was born in Randolph County, Alabama on April 22, 1871. He graduated from Alabama Polytechnic Institute and taught at an agricultural school before moving to North Carolina in 1907 to become the first state agent for farm demonstration. Mr. Hudson was funded to designate demonstration farms in the counties of North Carolina. These privately owned farms were to be operated under federal guidelines for the benefit of surrounding farmers. Mr. Hudson worked closely with I.O. Schaub, head of the 4-H clubs of North Carolina, and with Jane McKimmon, North Carolina's first state home demonstration agent for women and girls. Mr. Hudson composed many songs to add entertainment to the various camping events held for the boys and girls of the 4-H. Carolina, Carolina is one of his finest. Carolina, Carolina, we will I be true to thee. From the mountains to the skyland, to the plains down by the sea. From the roaring Roanoke, to the Atkin Bold and Free. Carolina, Carolina, we will I be Josephine Scott was born on October 23, 1883, on a farm in Alamance County, North Carolina. She was the first of 14 children of Robert Walter Scott, an industrious farmer, and his equally industrious wife, Elizabeth Hughes Scott. Josephine was a student at the State Normal and Industrial School in 1904 when her dormitory building caught fire on a cold night in January. Josephine ran outside in her bare feet and proceeded to ring a bell located behind the building until all of the students had fled to safety. Josephine's younger sister Margaret also attended the State Normal College in Greensboro and became the first home demonstration agent in Elements County. She was an expert in canning and it was under her leadership that the first moving picture of home demonstration work in the entire country was made. Josephine met her husband, C.R. Hudson, while speaking on a Farmers Institute train tour. The train tours were an early teaching device used by the Extension Service to reach farmers living in remote areas. C.R.'s job required a great deal of travel, so during their courtship they kept in touch by letter. Sunday evening, August 21st, 1910. My dearie dear, it seems so long since I saw you that I was tempted to board the train this morning and run up to spend the day with you. Josephine and C.R. got married on June 1st, 1911. The ceremony took place under the shelter of a bride and groom tree, a maple, planted by her parents when they married in 1883. After a honeymoon trip up north, Josephine and C.R. settled in Raleigh and started a family. By 1913, the Hudsons had three sons, Cassius Rex Jr., Robert Scott, and Seaman Knapp. Their only daughter, Frances, would come along in 1920. 
In 1917, Josephine Scott Hudson won the prize offered by the National Food Garden Emergency Commission for her display of canned vegetables at the North Carolina State Fair. Mrs. Hudson grew much produce as part of the war effort, including lettuce, collards, cabbages, onions, radishes, kale, spinach, parsley, turnips, oats, clover, and many fruits. During World War II, Mr. L. R. Harrell, leader of the 4-H clubs of North Carolina, proposed that a Liberty ship be named for C. R. Hudson, who passed away in 1940. Almost 100,000 signatures were collected in support of this honor. Josephine and her family attended the launch of the SS Cassius Hudson on August 31, 1944. For many years after her husband died, Josephine ran a successful boarding house on Hillsboro Street in Raleigh. As she grew older, her son Rex Jr. and his wife helped her run the business. Josephine was very active in her later years and devoted much of her time to her family and local civic groups. On her 89th birthday, she was named an outstanding senior citizen at the 1972 North Carolina State Fair. Known affectionately as Miss Josie, Josephine Scott Hudson actively promoted the Scott family tradition and was cited frequently in the regional press as a resource for information on North Carolina's rich agricultural history. She passed away in 1978 at the age of 94.